the world today, they don't understand what we call peace of heart. If anything has changed from him to me in, in time of money, before he received this blessing and healing, one will be a partaker of that sickness. You listen to me? But people don't know that like someone who is in need of rescue, sickness, and we, you now use that opportunity to collect something. You know, at that time, you're ready to give you anything. It's ready to give you money. And you announce it until before you do this, you need this. Before you do this, you need this. And you use whatever you collect there. It always goes with the spirit of affliction he has. Because he's not going to give anything at that time with all his heart. He's given it because of the problem he has. And anything that does not come from one heart is a sin. Tell your neighbor, whatever that does not come from my heart is a sin. Can you say the life you are living? If you help me and that help is not from your heart, it's a sin. Me, you commit sin, and I that receive it too, I receive sin. If you now help me now, and that help is not from your heart, I that help you, I commit sin. You that receive that, you commit sin. If you now give me money, and it's not from your heart, you are giving me affliction. I that give you affliction, you that receive it affliction. Sit down. Go, go and have your seat. I'll see you. It's given me that part of affliction he has. Can you imagine the life we are living today? And most especially, we ministers of God. We ministers of God, can you see the challenges we are facing? It has been stated the manner we must receive and the manner we must give. There is no excuse that ah, I must buy fuel, I must pay electricity, I must take care of the ministry, I need money to do that. But so with this. If you now look at this procedure, you can separate the wheat from the chaps, the real from fake. It's easy to separate in the house of God. Are you with me? Fake and real is, is easy to separate in the church of God. By this statement God has given, freely I gave and freely you should gain. You can separate the faith from the lead. Say to your neighbor. Freely I give you. And freely you should give. That statement separate fake from lead. This statement is a simple statement. Bible has stated it clearly. Freely I give you, and freely you should give. Simple. The law is our strength. And money comes from our strength. Fame comes from our strength. Whatever you need comes from our strength. And the law is our strength. For one to say, in the name of Jesus, and for Jesus to come to the scene, that in the name of Jesus must come from your wall. How many of you speak from your heart? That is it. And when you say in the name of Jesus, and it's from your heart, the job is half done. Here Jesus come in, 
to bring balance. And the balance is for him to come to the scene and say, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Healing. And How do we speak this in the name of Jesus that come from our heart? When you say in the name of Jesus, you mean you total support, total rely, total believe. Today, yesterday, and forever. That is it. Jesus is not just now. When you stand before him, it demands for now and demands for your future. When you are now telling him, Jesus, help me. Okay. He will say, if I help you, you will follow me. To follow him is for your future. He's interesting in your future. Tomorrow. Say, Jesus, heal me. And he will say, okay, I will heal you. You will follow me. This is what he said. I will make you fishers of men, fishers of men, fishers of men. I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. This is it. That is, if you speak your heart, I will make you a fisher of men. Help me, help me. It must come from your heart. Mean help me. When you say help me, mean help me the rest of my life. Me, I will follow you. So, speaking what is in our heart, the job is half done. Here, Jesus comes in to bring the war, the balance. So just look at him. Look at our brother here. Speaking what is in your heart can also help you to maintain your healing. For him to maintain this healing, what he said to Jesus must come from his heart. So you need maintainer, and the one that gave you must maintain it for you. It's not possible for me to give you this. If I give you this, and someone else will come and help you how to, how to treat it. It's not making sense. I that give you must also tell you how to use it. That is maintenance. That is maintenance. Hallelujah. What are you doing? What are you saying? Jesus loves you. You may be seated. 